Welcome back to a brand new video, and today I'm going to be revisiting, re-reviewing Curse of Chucky. I did see Napo do Curse. If you do enjoy the video, and big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments your favorite Chucky movie. And as well, let me know if you do enjoy Curse. Curse of Chucky starts out right after C, well not right after. You're introduced to this new character, Nika, and her mother. Her mother gets killed off. Spoiler, but the movie's been out since 2013. And... This is just a fun Chucky movie, you know, it's fun, it's dark, like, it's not dark, 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 like the first one, um, but it does have dark elements, and I could kind of say maybe it's a little darker than the first one, because a lot of people don't realize the first one somewhat had humorous moments, like, come on, you can't tell me in Child's Play 1 when Chucky was in that window, that was not funny to you. Well, it's not that funny, but you know what I mean. Like, it's just a pinch funny. So, I can kind of say Curse is a little bit more darker. Um, it does kind of take back to the roots. And Curse of Chucky, to me, does set a tone for the franchise. That's something that, you know, that I like. And it's cool, because the Child's Play franchise really never set a tone for itself. And... Um, I never had a problem with that, which I will get into cult later. I like cult, but I don't think you should jump to shark again. But Curse of Chucky, man, you know, I like that it sets a tone for itself that it shouldn't continue with that tone. You know, um, but um, it sets a tone of going back to the first two, just going back to the basics. The story is really bad. The story within itself is really bad to the basics and I love the one sit location the gothic house I love the way Don Mancini filmed this the cinematography is on point the lighting's on point the kills I like the kills in this and some people say well the kills aren't that great but you kind of have to understand the kills are decent because the kills were decent in the first child's play you know what I mean because Ch Chucky didn't kill that lot Chucky didn't kill, like, a lot in the first Child's Play. I think he's already killing a little bit more in Child's Play 3 and Bride and on. But in Curse, he does not kill a whole lot, like in the first Child's Play. So, you kind of say the kills are kind of lame if you want. I respect your opinion. My opinion is I understand why they didn't go full gore, full, you know, full gore, full kills in this. The gore in here, I'm, I'm surprised they actually... Added this much gore to the Chucky movie, and I feel like they made the right decision with that, adding that gore. Um, but one small gripe is, and it, and and and, the, and then the gripe goes to Universal Studios, man. I wish Universal would had put this out as a theatrical release. Um. If they didn't want to do it as a theatrical release, man, they should have at least at least had a limited run in all states or in some states yeah maybe like where it was filmed have a limited release but they didn't and you know i just in, in you know the way i look at it universal has gave up on the chucky franchise they really have and um and i really think that like if you take the og chucky the og chucky the original chucky that we know um Let's say 2021, Chucky's back in theaters. Um, behind the scenes, you're writing it, you're doing all this, but this year you can start teasing it a little bit, you know, start of next year, promoting it. Like January of next year, promoting it. The first poster comes out, you know, which, uh, a, a teaser trailer very early comes out. That's how I, that's a whole other video on how I would bring the OG Chucky back to the theaters. It's just promotion. It's just putting that money out. And if you know Chucky can sell, you know he can sell in the theaters. You know, he may not make a bang, but he could make maybe Halloween 2018 money. He really could. The OG Chucky could maybe make that money. And I feel like Universal really missed the opportunity with Curse. Because Curse, to me, was Chucky's comeback. Chucky had a comeback, and it was in Curse. You know... Um, you can say what you will about Don Mancini, but you can't deny Curse of Chucky was written very good. The dialogue was good. The characters were well developed. Um, and I like this one thing. And I 
I wish they would have carried this on in cult, but they didn't. It irks me to this day. For some reason, I want to go watch Curse of Chucky now just to watch this scene. But if y'all know what I'm talking about, and this is the plot hole in cult, this is the plot hole in cult that no one notices. But anyway, in Curse of Chucky, okay, they're all at the dinner table. You know, they're about to get poisoned. There's this priest. I forgot his name. He looks over at the good guy doll. The priest automatically knows that doll and knows what's in the doll. Like you can see in the you know in the priest's eyes, but he knows what that good guy is. He knows what that good guy doll is. He knows what's in it. He heard the stories. He don't want to part of it. Why do you think Chucky killed him so early? Chucky does random kill, yes, but sometimes Chucky does it for a reason. I think that priest had some type of involvement in Charles Lee Ray's life or knew Charles Lee Ray. Maybe Charles Lee Ray bumped into a priest when he was in human form. Who knows? But I wish that was something that was answered in cult and it was not answered. And it still irks me to this day that they had a new character that they could, you know, expand it upon and... They ignored it, but back to what I was trying to say. Curse of Chucky is just a well-rounded Chucky movie, and it was just very missed opportunity by Universal by not putting it out um, in the theaters. You know, I just felt like that was a huge missed opportunity. You know, if you had started the promotion, it came out in 2013, so if you would have started the promotion in 2011 slowly start in 2011 but then you could have had some you know like you could start the promotion in 2011 film it in 2012 comes out in 2013 there you go but universal missed their opportunity with curse but curse of chucky to me hits all the right notes for the most part um chucky looks okay and i get to why i say the okay in this in a minute but Curse of Chucky. I love Curse of Chucky. Like, you know, Curse of Chucky is growing growing on me, like, over the years. Like, when I first saw Curse of Chucky in 2013, I loved it. 2014 came around, I was like, it's okay, it's okay. 2015 was like, uh, it's, it's, it's whatever. 2016, I thought Curse of Chucky was just an average Chucky movie. It was, you know, kind of like Child's Play 3 is, it's kind of pass off. But now, I kind of look at Curse of Chucky as it's pretty good. And I know what was clouding my judgment, and it's the CGI Chucky, which I'll shall get in a minute. But that's that's what that was, and it was it's stupid of me that that was clouding my judgment, um, for years. In this film, and it's crazy. This you know, Curse of Chucky came out in 2013, and we're about to get a remake and a TV series. That 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 that's crazy. You know, it's awesome, and it's crazy at the same time. Well, the remake's out there awesome, but you know what I mean. It's it's cool at the same time. You know what I mean? And I, I just find that cool. Um, and it's why well, I find it so cool, because it's not been that long since Curse, but it feels like it's been 10, 15, 20 years since Curse came out to me. Um, but yeah, Curse of Chucky is pretty pretty good. Um, Chucky movie, I do like it. But let's go into the negatives. The negatives. There's only one huge negative. I'm going. Well, there's two. There's two negatives I have to get into. The first negative is Domin C purposely wrote that Chucky was not going to bleed in this. Chucky don't bleed in Curse. He writes that and knows that that's going to continue with something, but then he ignores it and cold. Okay? That's one negative. The other negative is Don Mancini, and I respect the man for trying to do something different, but it didn't work. Thank God he's not doing it in the TV show. Um, but he did CGI Chucky. Like, a lot of the, like, like a majority of Curse of Chucky has a CGI face. Chucky or his whole body is CGI. It looks ugly. Like it looks disgusting. It. I don't like it. Like I don't like it. Like, like I'll be honest. I don't. You know, I can. 
I can understand why Domin Cini said, hey, let's try the CGI route. But at, but at the end of the day, I think it was the wrong move. It was the wrong move. And, you know, and that's what Domin, Domin Cini has, you know, um, Domin Cini has, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, accepted his mistake. You know, he accepted his mistake, and he says he's never going to see G.I. Chucky again. But, yeah, um, I do like when Chucky's not alive. I do like the Chucky's look when he's not alive. Um, I do like that look. Um, I don't like when he's CGI'd. I do like for the one scene that's not see well, there's a couple, but I do like when I do like Chucky's look when he's not alive. I do like Chucky's look when he's not alive, and I like Chucky's part scarred look, like part of his face is scarred, and you know, part of his face has like the scars and stuff like that, the red eye under it. That looks pretty cool. I, I, you know, I want that look in the TV series. I do, like legit. I want that look in the TV series. I do. Even if they have the retcon some things, I don't care. I want that look back because it looks sick. And that's something too, like so off topic again. You know, the stitch, the stitched Chucky look. It's not that scary. Is is not as effective as it is now, but. If you did the full stitch Chucky look and had him in dark lighting, that could work. Like, that could work today if you actually did that. But I don't think it really could because all of us Chucky fans want the no stitch Chucky look. And I don't want the stitch Chucky look right now. You know, and, and, and it's crazy because we accepted it in Curse. And I think that's because it was his comeback and we accepted it. But we all want they playing Chucky face right now. But, you know, that's, you know, Curse of Chucky, I have to give it a 9 because... Um, I look at it as a missed opportunity on Universal's part. I look at it as, um, I look at it, like I said, I look at it as a missed opportunity on Universal's part, and I kind of look at it, um, as somewhat of a, um, miss, like, like I said, a missed opportunity from Universal, but as well, a mistake by Don, by CGI, and Chucky, but overall, I do enjoy Curse of Chucky. Let me know in the comments below. Do you enjoy Curse of Chucky? And let me know your favorite Chucky movie below. And I'll catch everyone in the next video. Have a great day.